Mayor, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, my name is John LaSalle. I reside at 1942 Needhart Avenue. And I'm here tonight as Chair of Citizens to Protect Michigan Jobs, who will be taking the other side of the uh, ballot issue. Um, I'm here tonight specifically to speak to the resolution before the City Commission and in favor of it. Uh, I think the, uh, the resolution is entirely appropriate. I think, if anything, the resolution may understate a little bit the negative consequences should this ballot resolution pass throughout the state of Michigan. Uh, the economic consequences to all future mining would be horrendous. And notwithstanding the rule as it may apply to 2,000 feet with regard to wells and contaminated areas, there's no proven contamination anywhere uh, in this uh, subject matter. And in fact, what, what that does, uh, the 2,000 foot rule, reduces the area of Michigan that's mineable, where mines can, can go today from about 25% down to 5%. So if that's not going to have an impact on Upper Peninsula mining, um, I think we have to take another look at that issue. Um, so I think your resolution is, is, is not overstated. I think it's entirely accurate, and I urge you to vote for it. One issue that hasn't been emphasized very much tonight is the issue of jobs. You know, we have to understand that in Michigan there are nearly 6,000 people employed in the mining industry. These jobs have an average wage of about $62,000 a year which is worth noting that that's about 42% more than Michigan's median income. These are real jobs. These are family-sustaining jobs. These are the kind of jobs that keep townships working, that keep municipalities funded, that provide funds for schools in the Upper Peninsula <coughs> and throughout Michigan. I don't think we're ready to forego that on the basis of shoddy science or no science at all. And I think as we go down the road with this ballot issue, uh, we will bring forth information that will make it clear to people that this is not a ballot proposal built on science. In fact, fundamentally, this ballot initiative is about distrust. It's distrustful of how we pass legislation in our state. It's distrustful of the rules and regulation setting process that follow adoption of a statute. It's distrustful of our state agencies that would enforce the will of the people through its statutes and rules and regulations. It's anti-science in the extent that it has no regard for the earth scientists that are on our payroll in the state of Michigan. It downplays every regulatory step of the way and, and kind of creates the impression that none of this can work notwithstanding our best efforts in science to build a 2004 non-ferrous mining law that would in fact deal with the problems cited, we can't trust it, even though it's not been tried. That makes no sense to us. How can we do any kind of business, enterprise, or development in the state of Michigan if we can't live within the rules we set for ourselves, at least to the point of trying them? and seeing if they work. Even though there are six, nearly 6,000 directly employed people in the mining industry, we should keep in mind that there are another 26,000 people employed in supportive industries to the mining industry. And these two are real family sustaining jobs. The kind of jobs, in fact, we'd like to create more of in the Upper Peninsula. So our children aren't forever leaving the Upper Peninsula to other parts of the state, to other states, or somewhere else in the nation to find real employment where they can make good money and have fringe benefits with health insurance and a pension at the end of your work life. These are the kind of jobs that come out of mining. And to take a flyer on an anti-science piece of uh, language guised in a ballot issue is very risky and would be very unfortunate for the Upper Peninsula and also a disaster for Michigan's economic recovery into the near future. 
before I sit down, I just want to talk about uranium for a minute. Here's, here's a fact. To date, Earth scientists agree that no one has found a commercially viable uranium ore body in Michigan. no commercially viable uranium ore body in Michigan, notwithstanding the best efforts of exploration companies like Bitterroot and others. Yes, there have been uranium anomalies found. Yes. Traces. Yes. Could those impact an individual as well? Yes. <clears throat> but that's a long way from a commercially viable ore body that would necessitate a rewrite of legislation. So, in closing, I, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I think your resolution is well stated. I think it's accurate, and I urge you to unanimously adopt it. Thank you very much.